to another sports production. I'm Frank Knappenberger, and I'm joined by longtime Hall of Fame coach, Mr. Greg Rutz. Greg, welcome. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Very good. Every good. I'm excited about this season. Uh, as you know, we're, de we're undefeated right now. The Bears are for the fans out there. We're undefeated. We're 4-0. We're defending sectional state champions. And there's a little asterisk behind that for the first time in school history, but we were champs prior to that in, because they used to play in a different uh, season. They yes. used to play in the spring. And then when you were coaching and we made it to the group finals, there was no sectionals. Yes, But correct. anyway, uh, so the Bears, are, like I said, 4-0, playing our best volleyball right now. We're playing a team, the Piscataway Chiefs, although well coached by Brian Tuskin. They're three and four, and they're kind of rebuilding. With that being said, Coach, how did you get your team up for games Macy that you Rasta. pretty much should win? Uh, I guess it would depend on the team. A, a, a team like this with a lot of experience, um, I, don't, I don't think players like Paige and Haley would let this team drop down. They're, they're, they're going to show up and play hard no matter what. That's just the kind of girls, they, ladies, they are. You know, it's great that you said that because prior to the game, I spoke to both of them, and I tried to pinpoint them about the goals of the team. You know, division champ, conference champ, state champs, and they, wouldn't, they nope. would not budge. They'd say, we just want to improve every day, play our game. The wins will take care of themselves. Yep. And they don't care about the opponent. And they just want to play at the level that they're capable of playing. And senior leadership, outstanding. Four seniors back, two juniors, and a sophomore that are going to be get all significant playing time. And later I'll share with everyone some of the uh, comments that the, uh, the two girls you just told uh, mentioned, Paige and Haley, what they had to say about the season. Very mature kids. So it's great to be back, huh? Sports back in action. I think this is the first time in, no, we did some last year. We, yeah, we right. did one. We did two last year, yeah. yeah. But it's yeah, great it to have everything back. supposed to ref the other day, but uh, they, uh, <laughs> the bus didn't make it down to us. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, we had an AD meeting today. I'm still involved, you know. Yeah. And the big issue is buses and sub-varsity. And it's cool that East Bundrick, which you started years ago, we still have three levels of volleyball for boys and girls, and we're solid. And for some reason, other schools are not at that level. No. And uh, that, that's pretty cool. But everyone was, the concern was playing because school's canceling, and of course, uh, buses. Yeah. Well, this one, this one, they, uh, we'll leave the school out, but they, they drove up here, dropped varsity and JV off, and the freshman got off, and the bus driver drove away and wouldn't come back and pick up the freshman. So the freshman just sat here and watched, and they wouldn't bring him down to Churchill. I felt so bad. Well, that, that the actually, ten minute drive. It was a discussion today with the ADs, and they're all gonna. Like, I assume they're gonna go to their athletic, uh, athletic director. They're gonna yeah. go to the superintendent about yeah. maybe drive waivers. Can you get parents to drive, or yeah. can the kids get alternate transportation? If not, every game's gonna be starting 5:30 and 6. Yeah, because they can't get them here. Yeah. Right. There we okay. Go. Here we go. Great float right there by Bella. Right, you you want to give us the starting lineup because I was gabbing during that, <laughs> yeah, please? Yeah. Uh, all right, so right now serving is number nine, Bella Sapienza. She's the setter right now that's in. And she's a senior. She's a senior. And then uh, coming around the court here, uh, Haley Benez will be the, the outside number one. I'm trying to see who's front row. Looks like uh, Rhea Robinson is number 13. She's the starting Front row middle. Great swing right there by Haley. Good cut shot right there. She's a, she's a junior. Yep. Um, uh, the starting opposite right now is Casey Travaska. She's a, what, she a sophomore now or is she a she's junior? A she's a sophomore. She's a sophomore. Right. Yep. Good block, good swing. Um, and then uh, Paige Anania is the other outside. And um, I don't know who's the starting bear right now. Sorry about that. Can't see who's. Uh, oh, Joy Zhang. Sorry, Joy Zhang. Yep. Okay. She got taller. Sorry, last time I saw her, right. she, she got taller. Okay, so that's it. And you see the Bears. You see the score up there. Great job by Dave and Pags and their production. Oh, great little mix-up right there. Angle. Keeping the score. 
JV's had a nice win. They were one and two. Okay. And taking, speaking of the and two, the Bears are four and zero. Oh. Uh, the all their opponents they beat Old Bridge, Stevens, Colonia, Monroe were all two zero. All conference stuff right, right there. It's huge right there. And they got a big one coming up Saturday. And you had great battles with, which is Hillsboro at Hillsboro. Okay. And they just won the. Uh, they just won the. Williams the, the the Bloomfield tournament. Oh, it was the Bloomfield, Bloomfield tournament. Yep. Yeah, we, uh, you you said it right there. We have a great blend of kids. We got four seniors, two juniors, and a sophomore. And I, I do have to share with, from, with you what both seniors, Paige and Haley, had to say about uh, one of their goals this year and how they're going to be successful. But we'll get that in a minute. Yeah, right now the two two points by Piscato. We are both errors by E B. Not not bad errors. Is that a touch? Net violation? I think there was a touch on the block anyway, but And you were talking about officials. Well, that's the other thing is uh, there's a lack of officials in all sports. Never seen these two guys before. Right, me neither. Twenty two years in the sport, never seen these two guys before. And we can't get officials in any in all sports. Yeah, hey, I heard that. I heard games have been canceled because some, of it. Some football games are going to uh, Thursday night varsity games. Really? Yeah. That's probably kind of fun for high school kids, but great block right there. But right. Is that Alana? Yeah, I thought it was. Great set right there by Casey. Alana coming over and sealing that block and getting contact on that. It's a great play right there. They're, they're, they're all jump floating extremely well right now. They're great. Good foul right there. That was an easy play right there by him. Now, Piscataway has been an up and down team in volleyball. Always. And now uh, they've been shut down for two years, I think. Uh, no, football was. Maybe they weren't. But uh, Brian's a good coach, and it's just a matter of time because they got the athletes of getting that program back. On yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing it now, right, with my, my son's team. They're uh, because of that great swing right there by Casey. High hands cross, because um, these guys basically had a season and a half without instruction. Right, and 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 I know because I've seen practices and I know what you taught both these all our coaches. Fundamentals, 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 mm -hmm. and once you get it, you're not going to lose it. Ooh. A great floater right there. Yeah. I don't know if the camera okay. caught that. It, it it got to about a the 29 foot line out of 30 and, and just then, dropped straight right. down. Yep. Kind of like my uh, slider. It's your baseball. <laughs> Just kidding. Just a wicked knuckler. Another one. That one. See again. That one. You caught. I caught that one. That one rose. That's kind of the, mm -hmm. the the negative to that floater that you can't control. But good service right there by by uh, Joyce. So as uh, and I'll get to it in a minute, but I'm really impressed with the two seniors and their maturity and their answers and their goals and what they want to do after high school about next year but yep. really really impressive young ladies Good free net and kelly's only a sophomore and she's starting on a team that's undefeated is she uh one of those lifers in volleyball net Net all four hands. So uh, talking about Casey, do you know if she has been playing she's, volleyball? She's she been playing volleyball since uh, seventh or eighth yeah. grade. Yeah. I saw her come through Churchill. I knew she was moving up quick. And then, um, and, and then I know that uh, Paige and certainly Hallie have been doing that too. They, they've been playing since they were freshmen. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, my interview with um, – Hallie, if you don't mind. Um, first of all, she's going to Santa Clara to play beach volleyball. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, and I asked her about the season, and she said their goal is to work on team bonding and to get the young kids to understand and appreciate their role on the team and what their responsibility is. Now, their role may change next year, but this year, I guess the go-to people, certainly Paige and Allie, but that was their goal for this year, to get this team to play at the level they need to to, to win. Yeah, when you have when you have that kind of when you have that kind of leadership, right? It, it, it fosters 
more than one year of success. And, 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 and understand it. And she expressed it without any warning of what I was going to ask them or anything. <laughs> she came right out, which is, I'm sure Patera has been talking about that. Yeah. Learn your roles. For quite a long time, because they were, you know, they were they were young freshmen when they came in here. They started, they had a lot of pressure on their shoulders as freshmen and sophomores because yep. they were starting over juniors and seniors. And yeah, you know, the, the group this year and the group that graduated last year, they all had a lot of pressure on them. And you can see the growth and the maturity out of them the the last two years. It's it's impressive to watch. It's a joy right. to see how, you know, how confident they are and how intelligent they are with not just volleyball, but how they are, you know, like you said, nice. with school and life. And that was a nice hit across yep. court. That was Paige, I believe. Yep. And the crazy part is Paige doesn't even swing in the off season. She plays libero. Oh. She plays libero. That's being an athlete. Right? Yeah, exactly right. She was in she was in her brother's practice when she was in seventh grade, and they were serving so poorly, I almost had her serve because she would out-serve club them. volleyball. At club. She would out-serve the, the 16- and 17-year-olds in seventh grade. Yeah, they grow up doing it, and it's, it's one of those family sports, too, similar to, like, a wrestling. You know, it's in the blood. It's yep. in the family. Yep. So as you see, the score is 13-4 to four to Bears. Great swing right there. Good high hands. Nice turn by Alana. They do a nice job. Good set right there by um why am I missing the name? I'm sorry. I'm sorry Where by what? Bella. I'm she's been around too since she's been in that well, that, I, that varsity I, role since she was well, in that, at least as a sophomore. Well I remember Paige and Hallie's name forever as we would you and I would be doing these games or me and Melissa. Yeah. Well that wasn't a good swing. She knows it. She's laughing about right. it, which is good. Yeah, well, and, and you yeah. know it's cool too. And I know you've talked about. You know, I talk to you well, look at the Big Ten Network and watch women's volleyball <laughs> on the tube. Yeah, that is so cool there is for th these girls. There is no, there is no better women's co women college volleyball is the, is the best volleyball going. Wow, what a, oh, they ran a nice quick fit. there, too. She called that. Allie. You can't hear that on the mic, but, but Haley told Bella what she wanted. She ran a quick set there, and she took care of business right there. That was a great swing. So, you know, I was talking to them about having a target on their back, and they quite didn't understand that concept. I was saying how people always get up for each Brunswick, and now when you're the champs, don't they? Wasn't really sure. She said, we don't pay attention to that. We don't pay attention to good that. Up. Good up. Good up by them. Two, two good one-hand touches. Way to stay forward on the ball. Out, and they earned on it. They earned on it. Taking that extra, putting that ball in play. Great job right there by EB. Bears are up 16-5. Yep. Haley Kim picking up that little one-hander early. Keeping that rally alive. Nice job. Another one. What a great, what a great ball outside. I believe Haley just chopped that lefty, by the way. Yeah, I thought so, did. thought so, too. I like this, <laughs> I like this angle also. It, it seems like it's, the camera's higher. Yeah. Very clear, great pictures. You guys picking up new cameras or what? <laughs> I got a big head shake no on that one. That's a good ball right there. That's in. It's a good swing right yeah. there. Nice, nice play by Piscataway right there. As you can see, it's 17 to six. This is a, uh, a GMC tournament, not tournament, but uh, Conference regular game. season yep. game. And it's important to get the number one seed because you'll be home to the finals and the finals right now are scheduled to be at Old Bridge, GMC okay. finals. Okay. Because just like we used to host them here, yeah. yep. they're going uh, to host them there. Their AD is going to host them there. And we're working on Middlesex County College <laughs> to host them uh, as a neutral site. Okay. But the floor is. You have, floor, right? you have that rubberized floor, right? You have that rubberized floor. I wouldn't play there with that. Because I thought they changed it. it. You want to be able to slide. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wants br nobody wants rubber brush burn from diving yeah. for a ball. 
going out and buying arm sleeves so you can dive in volleyballs. Great, great serve right there, Bella, throwing that. that she's been hitting that hard jump float, and then she dropped another one inside the 10 foot line. All right, number 20 going yep. up to the game. That's Hannah. Hannah Cow. Yep. Yeah, nice job right there by, by Portero bringing in mm -hmm. some underclassmen, getting some reps in a scenario where they can clearly earn their spot. And then they get used nope. to it. Okay, Bella, that's all right for now. You know how I like that. Yeah. Not a, not, that. A, not, a, not, a, not a big fan of the service error, Mr. Knob. No, not. I'm not. It's like missing free throws, right? Oh, or, or <laughs> watching the third strike go down the, <laughs> like the Yankees do. Oh, tight. I can't believe he didn't call that. She one-handed it for a set, but like it was, I don't think it was a very clean one-hander for them. Ooh. Casey got away with one there. Not a great contact. Good swing by Casey. Nice Just not great contact. Nice little rally there. Looks like they're holding two. Normally Haley and Casey would flip flop coming out of rotation one, but they were they were keeping their position sitting right side. The so game there is I don't know what I don't know what Sienna. side of the yep. Sienna. I don't know what side of the beach that uh, Haley plays on, so she might be more comfortable on the right side. How cool was that uh, volleyball in the Olympics? Beach volleyball in the yeah. Olympics this year. It's well, a great serve just, right there by Selena. You could just see their experience out there. There's no wasted movement or, or panic. Nope, nope. They read the ball well. Yep, here comes uh, Carissa Mao coming in for, for Bella, et cetera. I ride this out knowing Portero, he'll start those starters again in the beginning of game two and then do the same thing, follow those guys in. Right. Out. Touch by the libero, ball's played, free ball EB. Still continue to have great communication. Great set. Yeah, good hustle, P-Way. Good. That's it. That's it. Nice Go middle. Set. Oh, she read that well. Yep. Go up again. Go up again. That's it. That's it. Both Good play by both girls. Right. A little unlucky on the P-Way side, but and that's, just that's a tough, that's watching, a tough, watching, a tough over the shoulder like that. Watching the, so many thousands of those, and that's our girls' show. So, they're so experienced. Ooh. How about the game, uh, the game winner on uh, that wasn't game winner, the JV, an ace on that last serve to win the JV game. Yeah. Oh God, what a hit! What a hit! There it is. Joyce passing nails right now. The little barrel. Great swing right there. By Hannah. A little cut shot right there. So speaking of officials, if anyone's interested in becoming an official, you can certainly contact Mr. Rutz, uh, me, or certainly Athletic Director Frank Malta, because uh, there's a lot of people in East Bundwick that have volleyball backgrounds that like to get involved in the sport. And they bring you along slowly. They'll give you, the, you know, some freshmen, some, vars some varsity games, and move your way up. Again, great, great float serves, nice deep, giving the choice. Is that ball in or out? Question it. Right now, right now, unfortunately for Biscataway, they're they're getting decent sets, they're getting good swings, they're just not putting them in play because both their outsides are making good swings. They're just they're three, four feet deep, yes. they're just not getting over the top of the ball. And, so and, and that not knowing their their grades. But I yep. could see that being experience. Yep. Okay, let's go to back to Paige now. I told you about Hallie, she's going to Santa Clara. I said uh, not to play volleyball. She goes, well, I'm going to play volleyball, but I really think I want to major in business. I said, good. Don't tell us you're going to college to play, play volleyball. Play ball. Yeah, yeah. It's just part of it. So I asked, so I asked uh, Paige. Paige, uh, what a mature answer. Well, I'd like to go to an Eastern school where maybe I can play volleyball, but studying and academics is more important right now. So that's good. So she's got it limited. I know she's applied to Mammoth and Rutgers. So both of them really got their head on straight. And uh, again, one of her quotes was, we'll be fine. I said, how do you get up? Just as I asked you when you play a team that's uh, not as good. And they say, we just worry about playing our game. 
And wherever we play, we'll be fine if we just play our game and not worry about the opponent. Which, you know, very mature, and that's an experienced person talking. Yeah. You're not going to get psyched out about, like, like, Hillsborough coming up. That's what prompted this conversation. You got Hillsborough coming up. They're always good. But we're not worrying about that. We're worrying about playing our game. Yeah, you don't want to look past a team like this, you know, and catch a, catch a bad loss because you're worried about Hillsborough two days later. All right. They're One of our enough. other seniors, Isabella Sabanisa. Yep. Right? According to Coach, she's uh, her hustle – and her effort matches Haley and Paige's. So mm -hmm. she's just a senior that's a great role model for the uh, younger kids. She's strong, server that scores more aces than anyone on the team. And uh, it's uh, to keep an eye on her as she'll be a key member of this run in the tournaments. So good for her. Other senior is Alana DeCuna. Alana's been with the Bears for four years. And uh, she works hard this year, and she'll be a valuable member of the team as a middle blocker position. Yeah, she's come, she's come a long way. When she first started down below, mm -hmm. you know, she had to put in the time. And you could see she's put in the time. Oh. She's uh, fundamentally very good at what she does, mm -hmm. Get, getting in closing blocks and, and transition and approach. Middle is a – it's like an offensive lineman. Right. Like you're going to work hard, and you're not going to really get much credit at all. And she's, she's doing the job. So – as I was doing some research today, state tournament, believe it or not, the cutoff is the 19th of October, obviously, yeah. and it starts the tw um, October 29th. First three rounds will be at the higher seeded team. Oh, they're going that far, huh? All right. Is it, are they same format as last year? Are we just doing? Yeah, no, you're going to the groups. You're going to the groups. Oh, okay. The groups will be up again. Okay. Up in, uh, uh, well, you guys went up to William Patterson. Okay. But the groups, no, but the sectionals will not be up there. No, every, yeah, they'll be down here, yeah. But semis and finals are up there, right? Correct. But that's right around the corner. Yeah, it's coming quick. Good block right there by Peeway, but good cover. A little dump there. Peeway coming out firing. Uh oh, little, little misdirect off the ceiling. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Little abstract thought right there, mm -hmm. but yeah, I don't know if the camera caught it, but she, the the pass caught the bottom of the your, the, the, your, the, your camera, the camera stand, and then made a kind That's of. That's yours, right? Weren't you the guy that? No, I didn't put that up. That's from the projector. Yeah, but you were the one that pushed for that when you were working at the high school. As, uh, my recollection. I wish we had one at Churchill right now because we could really use one. It's great. It does such a nice job in, right. in, in phys ed classes. And, and Portera's done a great job of doing senior nights with it. And they all do. Bringing the stuff boys, up yeah. with basketball and stuff. Yeah, yeah it works really out really cool, great. Cool it takes, takes senior nights to a whole nother level like that. I like right. it. Pua staying tough. They're up 2-0 early. And oh, that was a no bet doubt about her. No doubt about it. So Boom. About that. Boom. There's a saying in volleyball, it's, it's, it's hard to stop over. And in that case, Haley just jumped over that block and it didn't really matter what that block did, so. Yes. Yeah. definitely settling in a little bit here. Yeah, we, I know yeah. EB, EB's probably on their heels a little bit, but they, they're definitely settling in. Paige took that, that play off, I think. I don't know what he just said. No, I didn't. And uh, at, at, uh, at opposite right now, uh, Morgan Stoner's in, and I believe she's a junior or she a sophomore like Casey? They feel like they've been around for a little bit. Out. Number eight. I'm sorry. Sometimes happen. sometimes they've been, around the, they've been around the block so long, you never know how long right. they've been there. But, yeah, but number eight is uh, the, the new opposite in Morgan Stoner. And, again, she's oh. either a sophomore or a junior. But I'm sorry if I've – but it's just a great mix of yeah, uh, yeah. classes. Yep, really does a great job of continuing to grow and foster the uh, uh, consistent program. In two years when Casey's a senior, she'll be the leader mm -hmm. teaching them. Yep, what what she learned from this group. Right. What she brought up. Ooh. Ow, ow, big swings by Paige today, but she tried to chalk a line on I, that one. I know I usually see things are away green. I would have scored that was <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, no. Uh, sorry, no. guys. Just like they said in my cousin Vinny, maybe it's time for some new glasses. Yeah. <laughs> that ball was about six inches out. Well, I think the uh, the dollar store glasses. <laughs> is, is They're doing all right. Yeah. Still can't believe he allows that to go. Oh, that's changed. like that. that. Yeah, they're 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 just letting him play, which you know me, I'm not a fan. Well, they may not know enough to do it. Right. Oh, play. Did she think she was gonna get away with that? Again? She might have. She might have. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've seen I've seen Rhea. worse get away with. So. Good job, Rhea. And she did it nonchalantly. Yeah. That's she, what I do. What I do. For her. What are you talking about? Bears are up six two. No, they're down six two. I, I mean, the Chiefs, Chiefs are up six yeah. two. Yeah. Great job right there. Forget about the not that Paige didn't make a very really nice swing, high hands, but. The, the body position by Bell on that set was was really nice to watch. How she she dropped the hips, turned the shoulders, she squared up before she made contact on a low pass. It was it was a nice play. Joy's going back. She's been ripping the ball today. Now you know what they told me about Bella. Bella, number nine, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. She's gonna miss this weekend. She's in a some sort of a pageant. Okay. A beauty type talent sure. pageant. Sure. How cool is that? Yeah. It's it always it always amazed me how, how talented these these young ladies huh. are off the court. You, you don't you have any idea. Oh my and God. and a lot of times you don't know unless you ask because they're not gonna right. tell you anything. Exactly. Until you start getting nosy. But their music talent, their their acting talent. Yep. Not to mention their writing skills. I, I look back at the I look back at some of our alumni and I'm 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 blown away by what they're what, what they're, they're doing, doing in life right now. And How would you like to be my age? Now you're meeting up with the people and they're telling me about their corporations, their company, <laughs> their th their three homes. <laughs> I have a house and two dog houses. That counts. Three yeah, homes. Right. See, another good float. Great pass there by Peeway. Oh, there think, we go. Get on the Haley's playing a little deep. That's two today. Two we're today. We're a little bit out of sync here, yep. although it's only, we're only down two. And you can see Mr. Coach Patera, well, the camera didn't pick it up, but so he stood up. and About time him, he stood up and coached. Gave him a couple, <laughs> couple claps. Because you don't want to get in bad habits. Good back set right there. Come on, Mork. That's it. That's it. Come get that. Good touch. Good hustle. Oh, Look there you go. This. There you go. So. Nice. Oh, another one. A D. All right. Anticipation. We anticipate yep. so much. Got to make that one of the hardest things to teach is that read across the net, the understanding of right. pre pre-contact body language. They end up watching the ball, and the ball doesn't teach you very much. Oh, look at that. Look Ooh. at them going on two right there. Great play by Bella. She called it out, too. She took that ball, and she knew she was going immediately to Paige. And Great body control yep. there. How many times has she made that hit in her career? Yeah. Think about that. A lot. Well, A lot. Mean practices and yeah. games and practices. There you go. Boy, I tell you, that white line still. Throws you off, right? Still. Yeah. That's like a home court advantage. Yeah, the, the blue line was a lot more distinctive <laughs> that it wasn't part of the court. I'm not allowed to do that no more. You have to use white, they tell you? Yeah, we have to use the paint. We can't use tape. Oh, I thought the, the rule of the. No, no, no. It's just district wide. Net. I don't know if the – I'll have to check next time they ball. I'm watching the net myself, not through the monitor, but if the monitor is seeing you can see that Piscataway is doing a really nice job of pressing, but they're kind of swatting at the ball, so that's why they're ending up in the net. I think that's probably their fifth net violation. Because they're in good space, and they're, they're giving points away because of that arm action. Ooh. Little, I think that set was a little low, a little rushed by Hale. 
A sub coming in. He gets a back row sub coming in. Yep. That's a Haley, Haley Kim. Kim. Yep, coming in for Morgan back row. She'll play back row right side. Oh, not a bad serve, right? Joyce has Joyce hesitated there. I don't know if she thought somebody else was coming or what happened there, but not a bad serve by that. Young no, not at all. That's, that's, that's the that's 11? the that's the best float I see come out of them yet. How you feel about their jerseys there? Mr. I was just gonna come and I kind of like it. Huh? Really? And me being old school. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't expect a yes <laughs> out of you because I enjoy them and I didn't expect huh. a yes out of you. Almost as nice as ours. You know, great, you know. great play right there by both. Both middles going up. What happened? What? Guess. It's the issue there for me as a coach. That net violation has been called by the up official. That's the down official's call. No, that's he should be one making that call. And that's where our girl, that's Paige, where she, didn't want to yep. say anything. She yep. just gave that look. There you go. That's it. That's it. Number th number three for Scottaway settled in as their their setter playing some nope playing some really good defense. Okay, that ties it up. Ten ten. Mm. Yep. We got a front row setter here. If we get a we got a tight pass that is going to dump this. Nice float. Oh goodness. It's just bad communication right there. But good float by, by Paige. Another one who throws a, a really good hard float or jump float. So when you put that little, you know, that change up in there and you mm -hmm. throw something at 70, like that. Oh. Nope. Nope. I've had a couple players in the past, boys and girls, who could serve it inside that basketball circle, the center court. Really? And if I gave them the signal, I'd buy ice cream for the team if they could serve it and win the point. Yeah, you, uh, I've given away quite a bit of ice cream. I, I would do a, <laughs> I do a lot of things for ice cream. <laughs> All right. And another major discussion at meetings lately have been having a 15 year old call lines yep where this guy this official's walking away with maybe 200 bucks yep 100. yep i don't i don't under i've never understood the necessity for the lines person you have a player here you have a referee here and a referee there the two of them can't see what's going on well you know what that's a great point tennis has no officials and volleyball right. has four right but that's a great point of uh, you got two guys there. But, uh, you know, and you've seen where sometimes they get intimidated. Sometimes. Okay, so as you see, the Bears are up 13-11. This is a uh, conference tournament, not tournament, regular season game. Bears win this. They'll be 5-0 and oh and head into a tough game against uh, – Hillsboro on Saturday at Hillsboro. Um, but as our uh, two of our leaders uh, told us, uh, Paige and Hallie, that they, uh, they're up to the challenge. Uh, they just, you know, they, they were very clear. If we learn from every game, we're going to be fine. If we lose and we learn from it, that'll be fine. And I mumbled something about, well, just don't lose in the tournament. And that was sarcasm, obviously. Yeah. Just that just indicates in every sport communication. Gotta Huge. Communicate in every sport. If you don't, you give away a silly point like that. Yep. Yep, two communications, and there's their coach. Yep, that's see, that's where, that's where the middle for Piscataway was so entranced on doing what she had to do to get somewhere. She never saw the ball at all, so the setter couldn't do her job because they, they just weren't aware. Great swing.
They got, they got lucky there. Bella didn't get her feet there. Didn't make a great set there. Congratulating going on over there for Alana. Nice cut oh, shot yeah. right there. Way, way to see the whole that's, court, that's, right? that's, a, that's a beach swing right there where she took that all wrist and just rolled it. Great job by Bella right there. Way to go down and get that ball. Great set to Rhea. Rhea. I believe she's a junior, right? She's yep. going to be around. Good for her. Oh. Nice. That's it. Way to go up there and get that, Morgan. Yeah. Way to go. Don't let it come down. Way to come get it. One of the first time I've seen that today. That's a good way of just reading, reading the ball. That's how much water is going through his basement. Here we go. And again, that should have been a, that should have been a carry on the on the. The pass, great ball out right there by Joyce. Another great roll shot there Boy. by Morgan. Where we can finesse and we can yep. power volleyball. Yep, right? that was that was that was great. And I, I don't, I didn't see Morgan's transition to see where she was, but the the bump set outside by the libero, Joyce. I thought that was a great ball, often that high, right. giving that hitter space, giving him opportunity. That was a good ball. It, it's a really impressed with her girls. Yeah, you know I've been following them on the media and high school sports and their scores and stuff, but boy, the, the way they play and how composed we are. And uh, we're lucky, because I, I believe we're back here on the 28th to do a, uh, a game. And uh, that's gonna be uh, another exciting game for the Bears. And it's just so cool that uh, TV3, Dave and all the, and this staff. Um, Is that right? Yeah, against South Bundrick. Okay. Which will always be a good game for us. Ah, see? Going deep there. Yeah, I just feel like that, um, that, middle, that middle back passer, which is Haley and Page are playing a half step deeper than need to be against a team like this. Great play with lift. You got to call that. Get up, get up. Good, That's twice. It. Both of them were up there, right? Uh, number eight, which is obviously yeah. Morgan. Uh, yeah, and uh, and Hannah Gow, the Hannah other, Gow the other middle, were both up there playing, playing good ball. Great, they, they're doing such a, under, under. Now technically, technically 10 wasn't across the line. She was on the line, but once she made contact and interfered, then it became a dead ball. And that's purely just a safety. It's a rule, but it's purely safety. Right. You don't want to hurt either player coming under. So you can land on that center line. There's a, just some, just some bad communication. The, the, the setter there, number 12, well, and that's the carry should have left sooner. And then Haley would have naturally and taken that ball, and that's why there was hesitation, because she, because she hesitated to get out of there. So. And as you look out there, there's different numbers out there yep. from the starters, and that's yep. exactly what Paige and Haley were talking about, getting them to know the rules and mm -hmm. communicating and to play each Bundrick volleyball. Yep. Yep. Nice. That's it. That's it. Second or third time Morgan's taking a ball. Not a great set. Ooh, there's a there it is. Set. Good rip right there. That's it. That's a good touch. There you go, ladies. Let's go. There you go. There you go. There you go. 
Not, no, that was a not, touch. Not though. letting up. Oh, yeah, that was, yep. I think it hit net first and then carried through, but it was still a oh, good a swing. Nice hit by you at yep. number 11. Yep. She's had a bunch. In the first game, she hit three or four or five long, but she's they were good swings, so. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go, Selena. Settle down. You're a good passer. Make the next one. And as we talk, Haley's out there doing the same thing to Selena, talk, telling her to calm down and make the next one. Yep, I saw that. I'm glad you pointed that out. Oh, girls. That's a rarity at East Brunswick Volleyball, having the ball fall like that. But as we said before, there's different numbers out there, different people. Yep. So gotta communication, communication's got to increase because you're – Right now, right now, there's only two starters on the floor. Huh? One more, one more on Coach Portero. Call. He's, 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 he wants them to earn their way out. Yeah, I, I've heard many coaches say that in certain things, situations. Yep. Instead of. Oh boy. That's it. That's it, EB. That's it. There you go. Just like that. Just like that, it's that easy. Solana back in the game. Yeah, just a just a uh, just a natural rotation. Middles come in. Uh, Joyce goes back to to serve for the other middle, and away we go. Libero's only allowed to serve for one player. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Allowed to sub for one player. The no, same. no, no. She's allowed to serve for one player. So right. um, oh. technically, there's a libero switch in the books. Technically, that they've made that switch that the libero stays in for whatever middle was there. Um, the the libero is not considered a sub. It's a it's a it's an exchange. That's one too many rules. Yeah. Yeah. But you got them all down. Yeah. Well, well you we, better after we, all these years. <laughs> we have we have X amount of substitutions, but a libero is not considered a sub. sub it's an correct. exchange. That's why they. That's why they, that exchange occurs behind the ten foot line, and a sub occurs inside the ten foot line. So libero is one of the good, great serves right there by Joyce yeah. again to finish that game out. All right. Although, I mean, this is pretty much what everyone anticipated, but it was no. Uh, lack of effort on Piscataway's yeah, part. Yeah, they, they came out swinging, them, especially that second game. They played nice. Happy for them and their coach. Um, the Bears really impressed by their maturity and um, awareness on the court. So uh, once again, uh, we're going to be back here, I believe, on the 28th to watch the Bears take on South Brunswick. Uh, for the fans out there, you may want to come see that game. That could have some divi red division uh decisions as far as number one seed they're always good coach Rutz I want to thank you again on behalf of the kids the staff the program and uh, Dave and uh, Pags for helping out in here and giving us your expertise oh love being here so uh, uh, hang around guys and come watch girls volleyball you're gonna see some good volleyball and a uh, championship team okay with that being said thank you for watching and remember go Bears <laughs>